I'm stepping in the club like where the fuck the party at. Hey guys, uh, I'm back and I honestly, I mean I don't know if it's really that bright but my lipstick honestly just looks so bright on camera. I promise you it's way darker just in real life but I will show you everything in just a minute. Today I really wanted to do a favorites video. Now I have no idea really how to call this favorites video because I will probably not do them monthly because I'm just not using so many new products in just a month that I can really give you new stuff every every time but maybe this is just helpful for you guys in just a longer period of time so maybe we'll do it every three months or every four months so I can really collect some stuff that I love and I can really test this stuff out for you because I think um, sometimes in favorite videos a review is hard to find like a real review they just uh, most youtubers just tell you quick things they love about their products today I only have five products to share with you that I really really like so I can go more in depth about those products and I have one thing that I wouldn't recommend you to buy so I have everything collected right here in front of me and I just want to jump in right now excuse me if I'm very bubbly today it's just so hot in Germany, I can't even think. It's the past four days, it has been so hot, it has been above 30 degrees Celsius straight away every single time today. Being one of the hottest days, um, it's, it's just really, really hot. So forgive me if I'm oily, sweaty, you know why. <laughs> okay, right, so jumping in with the first favorite, which is also the red you can see on my lips and this is one of the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks the new ones and this color is and this color partic particularly I can't speak today this color particularly is called F-Bomb and, and it's a cream finish now I know everyone loves the mattes and I really do love the mattes too problem is my lips are very dry and I can't wear them very, very often so I don't have a lot of matte favorites what I can say though is I also have mattes from the Urban Decay collection, for example the Stark Naked and the Naked Shade and those two I really don't find drying on my lips at all. I can wear them for a very very long time without having to uh, reapply them and they still look superb after a few hours of wear which is for, which for a lipstick, uh, uh, just a normal regular traditional lipstick is really really great and I also find that this one has a great staying power which is why it's in my favorites. For the longest time I haven't worn red lipstick because I always found that reds don't really suit me. I think also that my new hair color kind of changed that a little bit but now I'm into wearing red lipsticks more and more so I thought I would buy one from Urban Decay that I really really liked and from working with or Urban Decay or not with but for Urban Decay I also know a lot of their lipsticks and I know a lot of their formulas and I just really like this one this particular color on a lot of different skin types and um, it's also comfortable for the majority of people to wear because it, there are a lot of people which on which do not really want to sacrifice on wearing a matte lipstick so this one is great if you are searching for a new great red lipstick I can really suggest you this trying this color out or especially the Urban Decay lipsticks because they are just awesome. They last so long. Before this one wears off um, it gets kind of matte and you still have a stain left when it's gone. It doesn't wear off flaky or cakey or just um, you know where most matte lipsticks for example just come off in the center of the lips. That's not the case with this one at all. And it's so pigmented like one swipe you can see it's awesome. It's it's really completely awesome. I mean, I will insert pictures and swatches in the video so you can see how it looks. So you can really have a true picture of how the color looks. It's a nice, I would say it's a more blue-toned red. It's not quite as orange as the lipstick shows in the camera. So it's quite nice for those of you who can't really decide whether they want an orangey red or just a blue-toned red. This is just something right in between. Another lipstick I want to quickly talk about. This one isn't new per se, but 
Uh, it's also not old and this one is by MAC and it's a satin finish. It's again not quite matte, but not quite shiny and it's called Worth and it's kind of this very nice uh, brown purple color. It's a little bit darker than a real nude so you can really tell that it's dark on your lips. I will also insert some pictures and show you some swatches on my lips so you can see the color. What I really like about this one is that it fits to so many different eye looks. Uh, so many people, so many different people can wear this one again because it's not quite matte but it's also not quite shiny. It's definitely appropriate for most occasions. You can wear it on a day-to-day -day basis if you're doing a very light kind of makeup with this but you can also rock this with dark eyes and just very very sultry cat eyes for example. This one looks great with anything and anyone. Um, looks great with every damn color on your eyes as well. You can wear it if you wear green on your eyes, you can wear it if you wear blue on your eyes, red eyeshadow. Looks bomb with some cranberry from, by MAC on your lids and then this color pulled off on your lips. Such a nice lipstick. What I also like about this one is, I mean it's not as long wearing as the red one, as the wet red one by Urban Decay, but being that it's not a matte lipstick, it has definitely a nice staying power to it. And with this one I also don't find that um, it crumbles off in the center of the lips. It wears off nice and even, especially if you put a lip liner underneath, which I would suggest you with both of the lipsticks I just showed you. Next favorite is also by MAC. Um, quite a lot of MAC today. And it's a blush and this one is called Peaches. I know it's an all-time favorite for many of you, uh, for many YouTubers especially, and that's because it's a very timeless blush. It's just a matte peachy shade. Um, it's not too light, it's not too dark. It's just perfect medium shade. I also have it on my cheeks right now and it really just looks nice with the, a variety of different lipsticks, different eyeshadow looks, depending on what you go for. It especially also looks nice if you've bronzed up your skin, which I didn't do today because I'm wearing a red lip and I found that it was kind of clashing if I put too much bronzer on. So I left out the bronzer just as a whole. But Peaches paired with a nice bronzer just looks so nice, so fresh. It's nice. It's a nice summery blush that you can also pair with a lot of dark looks in the fall or winter. It's not really limited to a special season, which I really like about this. And it's, like I said, it's just timeless, it wears for a long time. It doesn't really mattify your skin too much, like as you can see I'm not wearing any highlighter today, by the way. Um, it, like as you can see my cheek is not completely matte, but it's also not very shiny where the blush is. It's just a nice satin finish, which is also great about this formula. This is a sheer tone blush, which means it won't give you as much payoff as some of the other blushes by MAC, for example the mineralized blushes which are very pigmented. This one however um, just has a nice finish. It's easy to use for beginners because like I said it's a sheer tone blush. Yeah, it just suits a ma the majority of people, especially if you're very light in skin tone like m myself. <laughs> you can pull this off very very easily. Let's get it over with the face stuff. I have one last favorite from from MAC and it's uh, it's a mineralized skin finish and uh, you probably all know uh, the soft and gentle mineralized skin finish that everyone raves about. I however personally love this one and this is Light Scapade. It has a nice uh, cool undertone with a little bit of golden sheen. I don't know if you can see it. I swatched it right here. What I love about this one is that it's quite it looks quite natural on the skin, it's quite glossy, it, it isn't too glittery, it's just right. And it's very finely milled, it lasts really long on the skin and it looks good with warm and cool toned looks. So it's again one of those versatile products that you can highlight your inner corner with, you can highlight your cheekbones and all the other places you want to highlight on your face and you don't have to sacrifice your favorite colors because you can use this one with everything that you like. As you can see it has nice uh, blue specks in there so if you want you could go in with an eyeshadow blush, a brush or like a blending brush and you can just use this bluish tone if you want something a little bit more special that's also quite nice but I most of the time like the combination of all the tones 
best. If you only use the blue, it's quite it's quite a nice iridescent kind of blue purple shade. So that's what I like about this one. It's quite versatile. So if you want to check it out, please go ahead and do it and let me know what you think because I, I honestly think that this is one of the best highlighters that MAC uh, has in their collection. Now my last favorite is for eyes and this one is by Zoeva. These I have had for a long time. I've had these when I started out with makeup and I just got a lot of them, like a lot of those pigments. And these are, uh, how are they called? The Pure Glam pigments. I don't actually know if they are still in stock with the same formula. However, um, the eyeshadows by Zoeva are quite soft and um, very good quality, so I think even if it's a new formula or if they have changed it a little bit, you can still get away with those with those pigments being great. I just want you, I just wanted to show you uh, two of my favorite colors, which I think are very beautiful, and I use them a lot in summer and in fall. In general, I'm not really the type of person who matches their makeup to the seasons. I love bright colors in winter as much as I love them in summer I know and I also love dark lipstick all year round. So uh, I always use every color. Okay so however I'm swatching now my favorite and this is oxidized earth and this is a nice reddish brown with a golden sheen. These guys are very pigmented although they are a little bit powdery so you have to be a little bit careful uh, with them causing you some fallout. As you can see it's pretty nice, it has a nice sheen, you can blend them out very easily and it has a nice kind of rust undertone to it. I love this one, it's so pretty. And then the second one I really do like is called Silk Crepe and it's a, it's a very light shade, it reminds me a little bit of, of an eyeshadow by MAC, which I just forgot the name, but I just, but I will list it down below. Uh, as you can see it has kind of a silver grayish hint with a little bit of brown undertone and uh, a purple kind of shift to it, which I really really enjoy. It's one of those um, really special eyeshadow colors that you can't really describe too well, but also um, depending on what eyeshadows you use this one with, it looks more cool or it can also lean more warm if you use more warm tones with it. So it's again one of those diverse shadows which can morph into the color you want it to when combining it with the right eyeshadow. For example today I have it on my lids combined with MAC Peaches blush in the crease and as a transition shade and a darker brown at the outer corner and because of the, the, the blush it looks it leans more warm, but it also brings a nice cool balance to the look, making it fitting to the neutral red lipstick. Okay, now the one product that I really didn't like in general. These uh, I also have had for a longer time, and those are by NYX the Ultra Pearl Mania pigments. Now you wouldn't really hear a lot about those, and it doesn't surprise me because they are not intense at all. Like, if you wet them, they are okay, but they are also nothing in comparison to the Zoeva pigments. So, the Zoeva pigments are pure pigment. Those are not even close. I really don't like these. Also, I do find that the concept is a little bit weird, where you just have to pull out some of the pigment on any surface and then kind of blend it. I mean, I will show you this color. I mean, it is a pretty color, you can't really doubt that, but it's also not very pigmented at all. If you see um, the two pigments above it, it's not very pigmented. If you blend it out, there is almost nothing left from the pigment. And they are just looking very blotchy and not as smooth as the other two pigments do. So these ones have been a fail for me completely. I own two colors because I thought maybe like the lighter ones are better, but both of the pigments I own, by the way, this color is called Penny Pearl, do not really do it for me. Even if they're not really supposed to be a pure pigment, but having more of a sheen, I also don't think that they do deliver in that theme, because not even the sheen is quite nice, it's just quite blotchy, it doesn't blend well, and the pigment gets lost so fast that I don't really know what's up with this product, so don't buy those ones. If you're on a hunt for a good pigment, look at the Zoeva ones and don't be fooled by this one. These products were my favorites and my not so favorite product. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I could give you some nice 
info about those products. I have many products more that I really like, but I would just uh, stock those up for like further favorites so I can really go in depth about the products while I'm talking to you. I hope you liked it and I will see you guys in the next one.